Welcome to a lesson on problem solving. The goal of this video is to solve a variety of problems mathematically. Now when we start problem solving, the first step is going to be to read the question several times to understand exactly what you're looking for. Then we will assign variables to the unknowns. Then we want to set up an equation and solve. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first example. Six fewer than four times a number is 78 find the number. So we have to represent six fewer than four times a number. Well let's start with how we would represent the number. Let's let x equal the number we're looking for. Next, we want six fewer than four times this number x. Well, let's start with four times a number. Well that would be four x but we want six fewer than four times a number. So six fewer than four x would be four x minus six. And is means equals 78. So here's our equation. Again, six fewer than four times some number x. So now we need to solve this equation. So the first step, because there's no fractions, decimals, or parentheses, is to add or subtract in order to start isolating the variable x. So we'll add 6 to both sides, which would give us 4x equals 84. This is a test by multiplication, so we'll divide both sides by 4. And we have x equals 21. And to check this, 4 times 21 would be 84 minus 6 equals 78, and that checks. Moving along, the units in Shantae's apartment complex are consecutively numbered on each floor. The sum of her number and her next door neighbor's number is 443. What are the two numbers? Well first, let's talk about consecutively numbered. That essentially means that if one of the doors is 22, the next door would be 23 or if one of the doors was 45, the next door would be 46. So we need to represent this relationship using variables. So if x equals the first number, then the pattern that we see here is we have to add one to get to the next consecutive number. So x plus one would equal the second number. Next, to form our equation, it says the sum of her number and the next number is 443. Well, sum means addition, so our equation is going to be the first number plus the second number must equal 443. So there's our equation to solve. Let's do the first step by combining our like terms. So our equation becomes 2x plus 1 equals 443. Let's take this over to the next screen. Now we have our basic two-step equation, so we will subtract 1 on both sides, divide by 2. We have x is equal to 221. Now be careful. Let's go back and read the question again. What are the numbers? So we found x, or we found the first number. But the second number was x plus 1. So the numbers would be 221, and the next one would be x plus 1, or 222. So those are the numbers we're looking for in this question. The perimeter of a standard basketball court is 268 feet. The length is 34 feet longer than the width. So that's key. We need to express this relationship so this is 34 feet longer than this. So if we let this equal x, this would have to be x plus 34. And of course the opposite sides are equal. Now remember when we talk about perimeter, it's the distance around the outside. And we're given that the perimeter is 268 feet. So the equation would be the sum of these four sides must equal 268. Well, if we sum these four sides, you can see there are four x's. We'd have 4x, and we also have 
two thirty-fours, thirty-four plus thirty-four would be sixty-eight, must equal two hundred sixty-eight feet. So let's go ahead and solve this. Subtract sixty-eight on both sides. This comes out to two hundred. We'll divide by four. Again, the most challenging part is setting it up. We have x equals fifty. Now again, we need to make sure we answer the question. The question is find the dimensions of the court. The width is equal to x. Well, x is fifty. So the dimensions would be fifty feet by, and the length is x plus thirty-four. Fifty plus thirty-four would be eighty-four. So the dimensions of the basketball court would be fifty feet by eighty-four feet.